heard something dragging on the ground this morning and I thought it was just the uh, something in the truck making noise because everything in this truck makes noise so I went ahead and uh, stopped there took my shower looked out and my exhaust clamp was broken it's this thing here yeah you'll break one of these about every two three years or just cheap so I might go down and see if they got one or a reasonable facsimile of it always did like this Petro here it's a nice place hopefully it'll be cool tonight and we can uh, sleep with the truck off and no air conditioning and no humidity so it was nice last night but boy it was humid down south the irony of all this is I have one of these in my garage in Kansas I'm not in Kansas and uh, when they put the APU in, I had taken everything out of the truck to make room. And there was a lot of stuff that just didn't make it back just because it wasn't worth it. But let's get on a topic today. And we're going to talk about your DOT physical. This is the uh, next year driver's license. Actually, this is more important than your driver's license because without it, your CDL ain't a CDL. Without your DOT physical being tied into your driver's license, the uh, Department of Transportation will uh, disqualify you from driving just with the flip of a switch. And uh, where are the stairs? Oh, with just the flip of a switch, suddenly your driver's license has been downgraded and uh, that creates a lot of problems. So you have to make sure that that is up to par all the time and it's gotten a lot more difficult well easier in some ways but difficult in other ways so doctor shopping's always been illegal but back in the day that's what we used to do if you couldn't pass a legit DOT physical and the physicals back then were a lot harder because there were guidelines but they were really vague so every company had their own thing it made it really tough but the qualifications there weren't as many waivers and um, so if you were diabetic and all that a lot of these guys who were they just paid somebody to pass and there really was not any real repercussion for that um, which is kind of why we're here so as any opioid dealer in county will tell you doctor shopping is very illegal now so that went on well it still wasn't being reported so they decided to make the drivers report a few years ago they said you got to take this form in and uh, you know and then report it to the licensing bureau so uh, some of that is still going on but a lot of the penalties for the doctors got uh, really serious and certain other things started coming into effect like your weight diabetes and a lot of things of that nature um, when I started driving you couldn't be diabetic I think they were just starting to allow the, the diabetic pills but if you were on insulin um, you couldn't and uh, there were guys that were, I remember that were getting waivers for uh, it had to be regulated doses I remember when that came in you could uh, you know if you had to give yourself shots they could be regulated doses like but it couldn't be variable those it was it was really weird the whole diabetic thing um and uh they started uh really cracking down on things of that nature but then you know some quack who wanted to make a buck who probably had interest in a sleep apnea machine company business decided if your neck was too big you know or you snored you automatically had sleep apnea well then that started a whole new thing but I'm going to get back to a story that uh, made me think of this because I did just get my DOT physical renewed for two years. A buddy of mine, he's got to get his renewed here uh, in another month or so. His was only good for one year because he has a sleep apnea machine. Um, and the rules and regs and all that are really kind of weird. But I'll get to you a story that I started thinking about. And uh, 
it's a this is a true story from when I worked at Palmer now this is not a profession where uh, health is vitally important yet health is not promoted everybody says they want healthy and they want healthy things in truck stops and all that but they close the weight rooms um, they close the exercise rooms they take out all the restaurants and add in Arby's and things of that nature because you know health and after COVID it got even worse and we're not even gonna talk about that but we had a guy now if you know as you know uh, if you've been in this business a while you don't come in you just fill out your resume and all that talk to people on the phone and whatnot and you're hired blind they don't know you from anybody else oh excuse me I've been up since uh, 11 o'clock last night um, so we hired a guy well not we uh, Palmer hired a guy who was uh, he was morbidly obese I'm not even gonna his stomach was touching the wheel with the seat all the way back and forward he did not have full range he actually shuffled he drove the crap out of the truck but the problem that they had was he did not have full range of the wheel he did not you know uh, you know we're driving sticks and all that but another thing is I, I don't think he could get between the seats into the sleeper um, so I mean you can't sleep in the driver's seat a lot of guys do I mean but and I've heard stories of guys that couldn't get back there that did but there's several things that uh, the recruiters were worried about uh, that, now I'm going to go into this. It's going to seem cold and heartless, but this is reality. So, mm. so when they took the guy out on his test drive, first thing he did was he grabbed onto the wheel and hoisted himself up. The wheel literally popped. He literally pulled it out of its happy place. Took one step, and uh, the bar he stepped on went like that. It, he literally bent the bar. This guy was every bit of 650, 700 pounds. Big guy. Um, and that's when they realized that they couldn't, he didn't fit in the truck properly. Um, he couldn't get the seatbelt around him. He had, he actually had his own extension, which is legal. Um, and, uh, so the company said this guy is a workman's comp case waiting to happen. He might have actually just broke the truck. If that steering wheel gives way when he's hoisting himself in, or that step gives way when he's climbing up, this is a this is a big deal. Now, mind you, the step's only this high off the ground, but 700 pounds falling this high onto an ankle or a leg, something's getting broken. And so there was that, and they were like, we can't hire him. And they, they were like, well, we can't fire them. Well, can they? So what ended up happening was they got workman's comp lawyers. They got their lawyers. They got the DOT in there. They got, there was a week's conference to find out if they could legally, if they had to legally hire this guy because they'd already hired him on paper. They had to find out if they could actually legally keep him or if they could let him go. And it turns out that they didn't have to keep him. They had, they had, they let him go, and they did it legally. And uh, I mean, I felt bad for the guy. The guy was hoping for a job, but these are the uphill battles that we, as drivers, are fighting. Um, your weight is a huge deal. It's a lot more than people think. Now, just because you passed a DOT physical, um, doesn't mean it's okay. Uh, you know. It, it actually doesn't mean it's okay. There, there's still guys buying their physicals. There's still got doctors that just hand them out because they don't want to deal with them. A lot of times the tests are just compulsory. They're just like, nah, here you go. Um, and uh, so that's what you're kind of dealing with. And uh, like I said, diabetes is a big thing. Your weight is a big thing. Your weight's a huge thing. And it opens you up for diabetes screening and sleep apnea. Now, they've really relaxed on the sleep acne stuff. Um, it started being more of a money game, and a lot of guys that were getting diagnosed with sleep acne didn't have it. They were just trying to stick the insurance company with 1600 bucks worth of machine and all the accessories and accoutrement, and the, the money's made after the fact. Trust me on that. So, can they, uh, 
yeah, they can, if you can't physically do the job performance wise, they don't have to hire you. Something to remember. So, I was looking at all the points and it's a very, very serious thing to be caught um, with without a health card or with an expired health card or with, not with an expired, with a revoked health card. Um, a revoked health card is equivalent to in the CSA world to getting a DUI. It's it's at the top with with all of it. Um, and look it up. So you have to be mindful of things like this. Now this doctor shopping that's happening by 2025, it's over because you no longer are going to be going to. Uh, the DMV and turning the paperwork in yourself or your company's not, it will be going straight from the doctor to the uh, to the DOT. No middleman. It's going to be going straight from this database to this database. And if you fail, it's going to go straight from this database to this database. It's going to put an end to a lot of things. This is why it's so important right now in the next year or so to get yourself in shape. And uh, I'm going to tell you, you new drivers, listen up. You new drivers, you don't have to believe me, but trust me when I tell you this. Your weight in your first two years, setting your proper eating habits and taking care of yourself is vital. Especially uh, the older people. Um, your metabolism isn't what it used to be. I have managed to lose a lot of weight driving a truck, and uh, legally. I went on several specific. I went on a specific diet that I'm not going to endorse just because I don't want to get dinged or anything. Um, and I had to change my whole life. I lost uh, 80 pounds. Now I put a few of it back on, but nothing nearly where I was. I was also a very heavy smoker, and uh, you know I was smoking two and a half packs a day. That didn't help. And that right there will affect me for the rest of my life because I have lung damage from being in the army on top of being a very heavy smoker. Um, but that being said, um, within the first three to four years when guys start driving, and gals especially, I'll see guys within the first year, year and a half if they're not watching themselves and they, uh, they will, they'll gain 50, 60 pounds. Women will gain closer to 100. Um, if they're not careful. Your metabolism isn't gonna last forever. And then when you start being inactive, your body will adjust to it. Uh, I'm not a doctor, it's just what I've seen. So you really wanna start taking care of yourself um, right from the get-go. Uh, these truck stops are, it's getting harder to find good things to eat and healthy things to eat. Um, I don't recommend eating uh, 12 ounces of cheese curds in one sitting. That. Let's just say that didn't end well, um, but it was damn near an end. <laughs> but, you know, you have to figure out what kind of diet works for you. And a lot of these guys, I see a lot of diabetics out here that are undiagnosed. I, I know what it looks like. And, you know, if you're buying all sorts of junk food and you've got half a dozen honey rolls and you're going through a 12 pack of coca-cola or pepsi or mountain dew in an afternoon um guys you got a problem your, your body's trying to tell you something and you're not listening you gotta you gotta stop you've got to take care of yourself because these dot physicals are very important you lose your physical you lose your license it's like that and uh, suddenly your license isn't valid anymore. It's downgraded to a uh, um, just regular dry class uh, class C driver's license in Kansas, I know. Um, and a lot of guys, when CSA went retro, guys that had you know DUIs that were 15 or 20 years old, suddenly they're back. And insurance-wise, especially if you're self-insured, if you have two DUIs and you're at a job right now, if your license gets downgraded, you may not be able to get it upgraded again. You need to remember that and you look into that. I got a friend of mine like that. He says, I have to keep my health card. He hasn't drank in 25 years, but he's got two DUIs that are 25 and 27 years old, I think, something like that. And uh, he says if he loses his CDL, there's a very, very real possibility he's not getting it back. 
with a CDL, remember, DUIs are forever, much like diamonds. But not like your, well, yeah. There was an ex-wife joke in there, but eh, we'll just move on. There's not much to this video except telling you what I've been finding out. For the most part, a lot of the things are still the same, um, but the rules are changing. Uh, diabetes is coming back. They're going to start cracking down on that here soon. Um, they're going to start cracking down on uh, obesity here soon. I mean, they're going to start cracking down on a lot of stuff. You know, it's not prejudice. It's not racist. It's not anything. It's companies, when they hire you, they're hiring you. And they're hiring you to do the job. But at the same time, they have to look out for themselves or they're not going to be in business. And they're not going to hire a risk. And that's the last thing you want to do is pose a risk. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I know a lot of big guys, five, 600 pounds, in perfect health. They just got some wacky genetics. They've been big since they were little. And even when they were little, they were big. And that's just who they are. These guys are in perfect health. And uh, they don't have a problem. But if you get in the truck weighing 165 pounds like I did, and then one day you're 250 pounds like I was, that's a problem. It got so bad that I was getting winded walking to the back of the trailer on top of smoking uh, two and a half packs a day. Guys, take care of yourself. You have to. This, If you want to continue in this job and you want to be successful, you have to be in some kind of reasonable shape in order not to pose a risk to your company or a risk to yourself. There's a lot of, I've seen a lot of guys die out here. You know, like I said, diabetes is one. Heart failure is a big one too. You know, fried food, fast food, all that, their cholesterol's high, you know. I'm not, if your body can handle it, I can't handle bread anymore. I went on a, that diet which eliminated all bread and starch and then when I went back and tried to have some bread and stuff I actually developed an allergy to it. It was weird. Uh, so I've had to get very real with my diet and I'm telling you guys that this is this is very important. I want you guys to be healthy because you got to be able to do the job but you have to be able to have that little form your DOT physical that says you're capable of doing it. It's a big deal. And if you're only getting DOT physicals that are good for a month or a three months or six months, you need to figure out how to get back into enough shape where we can stretch it out for a year and eventually stretch it out to two years. You know, there's guys that do have sleep apnea and there's guys that are diabetic that are taking pills that are taking care of it. You know, but take care of yourself guys because I see a lot of guys out here not as many as I used to but I'm still seeing a lot of guys out here with blackened ankles and black feet and swollen knees and legs and I'm like you know these guys are only a year or two away from an amputation and when that happens that's a whole new waiver and if that happens due to diabetics you're done you are absolutely done so I just want you guys to be well so not much of this video, just telling you what I found out. And uh, health cards, they're a bigger deal than you realize. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next video.